Hi guys, welcome to another figure review. We got a few more videos to, to do, and uh, let's get going. So, got another figure to do. Obviously, you probably know uh, the DC comic Multiverse again. Batman from the '89 version. Um, yeah. So here we go. Similar packaging, obviously. It says Batman. This is a symbol. And a symbol for Superman 2, General Zod that I reviewed already. Um, looking pretty nice. This is the picture. Flat packaging. Looking cool. Mattel. Looking really decent. Okay. So I'm going to take a little break and see what we get. Okay. Okay, finally took out the packaging, guys, and this is how it looks like. Um, obviously, similar to uh, Zod, obviously, they're both different characters and the same company, of course. Um, so, yeah, um, much different, obviously, but the, the, obviously, they're still in the same scale. Um, so, yeah, um, looking pretty nice, nice paint application. I used to have the Hot Toys one. <laughs> I regret selling that. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, it does look nice. Just like from the 89 version film. Played by Michael Keaton. And it looks pretty cool. And obviously, it's got a uh, black application. Looking really, really cool. You see the Uti belt. Obviously, it's like a golden yellow, this one. That looks pretty cool. You can see the bat symbol. Bat symbol looks different in the movie, obviously. The head sculpt looks really nice. Underneath, you can see Michael Keaton's face. Caucasian skin, obviously. Obviously, he's a white guy, obviously, dude. Uh, so yeah. Uh, nice uh, cape. Obviously, it's not. It's like a leather texture. It's like type of wool. So, obviously, it's not plastic, so metal. Did okay job on that, so and I, I think it might ruin the figure, but you obviously have to look after it nicely. So yeah, um, my only problem is um, he doesn't hold it with his left fist. He can't hold his weapon, so he can only hold his on his right hand or his, or his left hand. So that really sucks. He's only got one accessory. I'll show you that in a minute. So. Yeah, but obviously it's got nice paint detail, and you can see the the bat um, gauntlet. That's how he fights. Looking pretty cool. Cause Batman knows Nijits, obviously. But obviously they retold the story again, and again that he learned from the leagues of the shadow. Boom, boom, boom. Because of the Batman reboot they did with Christian Bell. And they're gonna make another reboot with Batman for the great. And you know Batman, um, it's one of my favorite superheroes in the world. So, so yeah, really cool, really cool. I like it. Just the cape looks amazing. And the the back cow, the cow looks amazing. Looks like, obviously it's not sharp, but it looks good. Pretty nice. Like this and the cape is really on there, so if you want to try and rip it, don't even think about it. If you want to give it to your kids, I'm like, Mommy, I want to have this figure. No, so yeah, so really nice. All right, enough jibber grab. Um, yeah, so articulation, it does 360 on the head, can't do up, unfortunately. It kind of sucks, really. I think this one can. Do a little bit, but that's all you're gonna get. That sucks. Waist articulation, do 360 for one. Be really careful. Ooh. Okay, I really figured that. Okay, so careful with that. Um, articulates, you can see the biceps you can go forward, upwards, I mean, and forwards. Wrist articulates, leg articulation, you can make it do the spits, just like Zod, be careful, 90 degree angle, but that much, it's got swivel points, 
pretty cool. You can see the je uh, you can see the knee joints as well. Foot does not tickle unfortunately. Same goes like Zod, so but they do swivel, so try to do some cool poses if you like. So yeah, that's it. That's all you wanna get from this guy. Um he's got his uh back grappling gun. Oh, it's a bit bendy, unfortunately, because of the way it was packaged. But nicely de detailed. So yeah, pretty cool. Then I forgot um, John's rifle gun. He's got super paint application. If you didn't know that, so I forgot to mention that. So yeah. Um. So that's it, guys. Um. Really. Uh. Not a great figure, does it stand that well? You have to balance it properly. Um, but yeah, pretty uh, disappointing. And uh, you know, when they first announced it, like I said before in Zod, um, they were making, I'm like, oh, I have to get these, it looks cool. And he stands on four inches again. But if you carry the, the cow top bit, you know, the rat horns, uh, just take a few more inches, but. But nothing much. So that's it, guys. Um, peace. Want to come? Stay tuned for more reviews. And thanks for watching.